Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, you're all having a fantastic Friday evening out here in the desert southwest as we continue to navigate some warm and windy conditions in the area. Let's take a quick look outside using our RV World Yuma Sky Cam overlooking 4th Avenue on what, again, has been a warm and windy day throughout the desert southwest. You can see some of the Palm trees shaking back and forth there. Thankfully, these winds, though, not too severe, especially compared to what we were dealing with earlier in the week. Let's go ahead and give you another reminder, though, before we get into all that, of the flood warning that is still affecting Yuma County. Again, this going from the city of Yuma all the way out to Dateland and into Maricopa County. This will be in place here until Tuesday at 5 p.m., so certainly remember to take any necessary precautions to keep yourself and your family safe. Again, all this because of the releasing waters over by Painted Rock Dam. As I mentioned, it has been a warm Friday overall as we get our weekend started here in the desert southwest. Once we pull up the temperatures here over in the Imperial County, you'll see a lot of areas in that mid-90s range. El Centro sitting at 95, Holtville at 94, and as we head across the state and county line here into Yuma County, well, we're tracking just about more of the same. 92 across a lot of west Yuma County, including for Yuma and the foothills. Let's go ahead and show you how the rest of the evening is expected to look here. We're going to remain in this lower 90s range for most of the evening. That is until we hit around 9.30, 10 p.m. We'll start to dip into the 80s here, and then things will be getting a little bit more comfortable here by 1 a.m. So as we go throughout the night, you can expect these conditions to remain pretty warm overall. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the breezy conditions we've also been dealing with. Things are actually pretty calm overall for most of the area right now. Apologies for some of the missing readings, but you can see even over in Ocotillo, where we typically get some pretty strong gusts, just 7 miles per hour right now, and then over on the Yuma County side of things, Welton sitting at just 3 miles per hour. Taking a look at our future wind speeds, you can see that we're expecting more calm conditions as we go throughout the rest of the night tonight, even as we head into tomorrow, although we could notice some of those speeds pick up around the later evening. Taking a look now at our air quality index, sponsored by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District, and Slightly mixed bag in terms of air quality right now, even with some of those calmer conditions. Calexico and El Centro sitting at good. Brawley, Westmoreland, and Nyland all sitting at moderate. Let's take a look now at tonight's viewer weather photo. This is coming to us from William Hamrick. A little bit of viewer weather photo history here. I believe this is the first one I've ever gotten from Roll, Arizona. So, William, thank you so much for getting this sent in. We've got a beautiful photo here as we've got some clear skies to go along with that sunset. Let's go ahead and take a look now at our seven-day forecast for the Yuma area. We're going to have hundreds across the rest of the weekend here in the desert southwest. 100 degrees expected for tomorrow along with 101 degrees coming in on Sunday as we're also expected to see some of those gusty conditions return and help kick off our week on Monday. And then as you take a look at our seven-day forecast for the Imperial Valley, tracking just about more of the same. Again, some more 100-degree days on the way here as we continue to deal with some breezy conditions as well over the next week.